Hey guys, it's Erica. We're gonna be checking out AT's Crazy Form Dance Practice. So excited to be seeing what they are serving with the choreography fully. Looks like we're in a gymnasium. Big stage, big performance, big choreography. Let's not waste any more time so you know what it let go. I mean, it's a lot better than their little dance practice room, I will say. Waking them up. Hey, nice. Nice. Hey, get the, get the, 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 yeah. My brain can process only so much so quickly. Nice. Dancers killing it too, get in the grooves. Killing everything. A. Nice. 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 Hey. Nice. Hey, hey. That's what I was waiting for. You get, what I love about them being in a bigger space like this is you get to see how much of the floor they use, like truly. I mean, we always see them go like front and back, but this hit different. A. Tons of grooves in the choreography, they really kill it. Tons of footwork. Seems to be some like Afro style moves in there too. Nice. The change up, really good. Hey, moonwalk it. Ooh. The way they just sort of like stopped on a dime there. Girl, I know them dancers are exhausted. You don't really see too many choreographies anymore where the dancers kind of lead in the front like that. Whew. Jesus, man. You know, when I first saw the choreography, I was like, you know what, maybe it ain't that hard. I think I was watching a fan cam. And then I saw the dance practice. Difficult, girl. Um, yeah, and it's really nice. I mean, it's a little bit, the style overall is a lot more groovier, which grooves are becoming more and more incorporated into K-pop choreographies and footwork like that. Um, just in general. So that really, really stands out um, for like 80s because they were part of the knife cut generation. You know what I mean? So really bringing something new, something different like that. Yeah, that's what they're bringing to the table. For sure, a lot more exhausting. You're just activating like your entire body like all the time. You know what I mean? Um, so that's where it can probably get very, very exhausting. But I like the bridge there where the dancers kind of came to like the front and we're like commanding the stage while 80s is like behind. Uh, yeah, there's not many choreographies where I feel like that happens anymore. Um, Big Bangs, Bang 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 has a section like that for the bridge where the dancers, you know, will come up to the front, you know what I mean? So it's been a while since I've seen something like that, but they were killing it. Everybody was killing it. I love this because you get to see truly how much ATs uses the floor. Um, in terms of like the space on the stage because they always have used it very very well they're constantly moving front or up stage down stage um left right you know what i mean um so it's really really cool to see them um in like a bigger space where they can like fully kind of show the type of performance that they are giving but yeah choreography i was you know i don't know why the fan cam it was only probably like a little section of it maybe like the second half of the chorus that i saw and i was like you know what it don't look that hard 
I was wrong. I was wrong until you see the dance practice, but they really hit it. They really, really do. Um, and even though the camera's like farther away, you can still see smaller movements. You still see all their like grooves and how they just like hit it so nasty and stanky. Ah! Um, yeah, and I realized like after I saw Monster X when I was in a nosebleed seat, um, I was like, you know what? Those small movements um, can really read from like afar if you're just like, I guess, I don't know if it's like that you're that good of a dancer, but you know, that was something I was always kind of worried about previously. But then, like, after I seen, like, Monster X, I was like, you know what? It don't really matter. Um, if the, the moves are gonna show, they're gonna show. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, no, they really, really killed it. Girl, I know the dancers exhausted. Girl, I know they are. Uh, but they really, really killed it. Hitting all that was kind of crazy. And I would say it's slightly, like, trendy in terms of K-pop that we're kind of getting for choreography. Um... I've seen some of these moves a few times around, but I'm not going to complain because it's really cool. It really does sort of um, change, I guess, what I'm like used to seeing um, from groups, which is really, really nice. Um, and just, yeah, overall, I like the change. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Choreography go crazy. I mean, it's called Crazy Form. You got to go crazy with it. Um, and, yeah, they really, really killed it. Lines were beautiful. Grooves were grooving. The footwork was footworking. And ATs was dancing. Go to Brave Thoughts and comments down below, which is about 18 to this crazy form dance practice if you like this video this video a thumbs up if you like to me and you want to see more of my videos go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see my videos the second they come out hit that notification button if you want to follow me on social media twitter is going to tiktok threads in the description down below or at the end screen if you like J if you like what if you like gaming content, I have a gaming channel. It's called Erica Just Games. Links in the description down below. Currently playing Horizon Zero Dawn, so if you could join me over there for that. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Love you, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.